Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a small lecture on endocrine disease in the canine. When we started about 20 years ago looking into uh, treating these animals with various disease conditions, we were inundated by animals that had conditions like Cushing's disease, Addison's disease, diabetes mellitus, hypothyroidism, etc., etc. In a lot of cases, especially hypothyroidism, when we adjusted these animals, most of their clinical symptomology went away, and we'd test them, and a lot of times they would go into remission for these disease processes, and we would think that, of course, they were misdiagnosed or they were diagnosed when they had a borderline situation. Then we realized that we were able to um, address these particular problems with uh, some degree of adjusting, but that wouldn't get us to the point where we had over a 65% success rate. Therefore, we would not say this is how you treat Cushing's disease. This is how you treat Addison's or, or thyroid conditions. When we started the frequency-specific laser therapy uh, in these animals using the basic instrument that we would use for years and years, which is the uh, uh, frequency-specific laser therapy, we would laser these organs and also these organ tissues, essentially, as a means to try to rehabilitate their normal function and to ameliorate or actually reduce the, the effect of adenomas that would occur in the glands and also the unbalanced autonomic nervous system that would, in fact, ensue from a situation like that, both chemical and hormonal, essentially. And we got another a high degree of success, but still not quite as good as we could. And then in around, around uh, 2005, we discovered essentially that there is a three-bodied approach to this. And we can discuss the third-body approach to disease processes and how that's held in place. We discussed that extensively in the advanced laser courses and the basic laser courses too, and also a little bit in module five of the VOM technology. So you have an idea of why it is that we actually three-point laser. For instance, if this animal had an endocrine disease like Cushing's disease, Disease, we would laser this animal um, in the thoracic inlet with a specific set of frequencies, then we would laser, uh, the pituitary rather, so we'd laser the pituitary with the laser, then we would laser this animal's uh, um, uh, adrenal glands with another laser, and then a third laser would also laser the, in fact in this situation, the third laser would laser the colon. The colon find we find is the third body that holds this problem in place. When we laser the animal for the colon, for instance, with its number, which is 25 cycles per second, we found that didn't work. However, when we raise the colon to its chaos conversion factor, which is another thing that we describe extensively as far as mathematics and physics, essentially, we found that we were able to communicate to the system and reset it back to normal. In other words, we came up with solutions for endocrine diseases that are, have no significant therapy to cure the problem, as opposed to just try to ameliorate it by poisoning the, or, or changing the, the system's hormonal level in one way or another. So when we talk about um, endocrine disease, we're talking about essentially Cushing's disease, Addison's disease, diabetes mellitus, a hypothyroid in the canine, but not hyperthyroid in the feline. We still don't have a real good set of frequencies that take care of that. We deliver these frequencies in a, in a proprietary website, a proprietary website's list of disease processes that we see in the actual uh, for the for the uh, advanced laser courses that we provide for you when you take the courses there again have showing you and giving you the frequencies don't you don't do you any good unless you have a laser that has the ability to deliver those exacting frequencies down to the decimal point essentially and there's only a couple lasers in the world that will actually do that three-point lasering then is one of the ways that we have solved these problems and we have lots and lots of clinical experience on how we take care of that in subsequent in subsequent seminars I'm sorry lectures I'm going to talk specifically about Cushing's disease adrenal disease such as uh, uh, Addison's disease I'm going to talk about conditions such as diabetes mellitus and why it's been so difficult for us to try to get hyperthyroidism in the feline taken care of and also why we're able to take care of hypothyroidism in the canine. This has been a miniature lecture on uh, endocrine disease in domestic animals and how we treat them with frequency specific laser essentially and um, I'll be more than happy to explain that to you in a, in a subsequent deal. Subsequent uh, lecture I'd have you go to the website vomtech.com b-o-m-t-e-c-h.com and open that page up and click on the area where we talk about frequency specific low-level laser therapy and we can give you a lot more information on how we address specific problems why it works how it works essentially and how to apply it in your practice thank you and have a great day